guys, welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys. I just got done streaming and it was a blast. We streamed for over two hours. There was 1,200 of you guys that stopped by. Thank you so much. It was awesome. Uh, we ended the game. We ended the stream with some bang glory, and like three or four hundred of you guys stayed around to watch, um, which was awesome. Uh, getting to show you guys that game. It is a lot of fun. But we had an epic raid in um, <clears throat> in the stream that only like eleven hundred people got to see. So I had to show it to you guys. Uh, it is right here. It is this one right here. Watch. This I did not think that we were going to get all this because we're using a Gibart strategy or a Barchimp strategy, whatever the freak it's called. Um, I had two, I had two lightning spells and almost took out both of those mortars that were right next to each other for some reason. Um, but we drop off a wave of giants down here in the bottom, and we don't even have our heroes either, guys. We drop off a couple wall breakers, no heroes, just Gibart and. His explos are down, but that's the only thing that's down. His wizard towers are upgraded pretty well, as you can see, for Town Hall 9. Um, our giants, a huge group of them went left. A smaller group went right, which was a little bit annoying at first. Um, but we have almost all of our troops down. Uh, they're almost all down. We have 19 archers left that we're going to save for just a little bit. And we're just going to work our way into the center of the base and thankfully we're going to be able to take out that mortar since it already had a lot of damage to it and those expos in the middle are just chilling they're just straight chilling doing absolutely nothing for this base we've got a huge herd of archers and barbarians and barbarians at the top they're coming around the bend here come the archers they're working their way around <laughs> you can see that there's a mass of archers at the bottom there's a mass of barbarians up at the top um, now the only thing I really have to worry about at this point is that other wizard tower because it can do some serious work as you can see to those barbarians. It is crushing them right now, but that's not going to stop us from getting all of that gold, all 303,000 of that gold guys. And we're going to get the rest of this dark elixir as well. And I do believe, I do believe that it gave us enough to upgrade our king. I don't think that I did that in uh, in the stream. I'm totally drawing a blank right now, but we are at 99% and the giants are heading their way over. They're like, no, we want to get it. We want to destroy something besides a defense. So 2,700 Dark Elixir, 300,000 gold. Epic. That was freaking epic. And look at this. We're going to do it in the video. We got 109,000. Wait, how much is a queen? Is she 110? Oh... I'd rather upgrade the queen. So what we're going to do is we have another Gibarch trained up. Let's go to, Let's go for it. we got to find ourselves a good amount of Dark Elixir. Um, at least a thousand Dark Elixir. All right? So we're going to go find that, and then I'll be back with you guys in just a couple seconds, and we're going to upgrade our queen. It is going to be epic. As you guys can see right now, I do have a lot of gems. That is for the streams because I have to boost stuff. Uh, people request certain attacks, all that kind of whatever. So streaming actually does cost me money uh, to do for you guys. Because otherwise, otherwise, we would just be sitting around. And in a two-hour stream, we would get like, I don't know, four raids in, maybe? Something like that. Um, this could be enough Dark Elixir. But I want to go for a base that has over a 1,000. But this does have a lot of gold, too. So we're going to go for it. We're going for this one. We're going to drop off one, uh, one giant to go in there and set all that off. Nice. Get wrecked. Drop off a couple wall breakers right here and just spam the rest of our giants up in here. Get those other wall breakers in. We do have uh, some lightning spells that I need to use. One, two, and one, two. We'll take out both of those mortars and let's see how far into this base we can get. We're going to go ahead and drop off these guys. Here come some clan castle troops that we are definitely going to need to take out with that lightning spell. Get them. Get those wizards. King going in. Keep on spreading now. I wish that we had some heal spells, but we don't. Uh, wall breaker is going in. We got to get in there to that dark elixir. Like 100% we have. How is that one wizard still not dead? All of our giants are going down. We just lost all of our giants. But our king is in. And thanks to him, we are definitely going to be able to get in there. If he doesn't kill that king who is a level 5 and he's level 21, that's going to be absurd. There we go. We got 110,000 gold. That is exactly what we wanted. I'm going to drop off our queen too. She's going to head up in here and hopefully take out some more of that gold for us. Um, all these archers are just getting wrecked right now. We're going to take out that town hall with the archer queen. we got a huge herd of archers over here again. Hopefully they will just fo no, just focus on the expo. 
That expo's almost down. What are they doing? Focus on the expo. Oh, no, queen. Oh, that was such a clutch queen tap. Did you see that? <laughs> that was so epic. She was almost dead. We're going to go ahead and end the battle right there. Uh, 100,000 gold. Good. All I really wanted was the Dark Elixir, guys, with that Gee Barch attack strategy. Uh, and we're going back. We are upgrading that queen. She is down for the count. And boom. One week, seven days. Got 179 Dark Elixir left over. That is it. That is what we wanted. Um, gonna go ahead and train up some more. Uh, I'm gonna train up some more Gee Barch because it's actually kind of fun. One, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, one. One, two, three, four, five, one. And one, two, three, four, five, one. And then fill all these up all the way. And then that will be it. But guys, I really do appreciate y'all. I do. I appreciate y'all a lot. Um, I got a little frustrated in the stream because I switched over to Vainglory and a whole bunch of people just started complaining. And it's like, hey, Mo, we forgot that you've been streaming for two hours for us, that you spent money to uh, gym your things and all that kind of stuff, blah, blah, blah. We forgot that you've been sitting here for two hours streaming, Mo, so we're going to complain about you switching to another game. That's just a little frustrating for me um, because it just makes me feel like you guys aren't thankful uh, for what we do, or at least for what I do. Now, a lot of people were being super encouraging, but if you're going to watch the stream and then after I play Clash for two hours and switch to another game to take a break, if you complain about it, just don't watch the stream because all it's going to do is bother me um, and just show that you're not really thankful. But I'm very thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for everybody that stuck around. I'm thankful for the 1,200 people. It's ridiculous that came and watched Clash. Um, I'm not mad if you don't watch the Vainglory stuff. Um, I like playing the game. That's why I played it. So I'm not mad if people don't watch and they leave. Just don't stick around and complain about it because it's kind of annoying. But I love you all. I thank you very much. I hope that you all have a great Christmas holiday. Uh, the majority of you who are still in school are out of school for the holidays. I'm going to be posting hopefully four videos a day for you all to watch uh, because I know that you all are out and you all have a bunch of time on your hands. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really, really do appreciate it. And as always, make sure you keep calm and clash on from right. See you guys later. Peace.